The next thing we're going to do is align all these views corresponding to a piece of geometry. So let's make a box and leave the box where it's at. Okay. What we're going to do is simply size the box up to relatively the same height in the top view of the vehicle. So in that case it would be depth. Okay, then I'm going to take this and move it into position so it sits over top of the shape. And then lastly, right click vertice onto the shape and move it up a little bit. Okay, now that we have one vector figured out, we're going to try to figure out the rest of the vectors. In this vector, we're not going to move the actual box itself. We're going to only move the X-Wing. Okay. In the last vector, we're going to move the X-Wing we're going to move it so it lines up with the center line down the center of it right here. So if I cut these in half, that's where it would be. Okay, so every one of these should have this black line that goes down the center. Our next mission is to go in here and change this color of the Lambert to meet a transparency. We do that by going into here going to the last tab, Lambert 1, and Lambert 1 can have the transparency up a little bit. Okay. Now you can see this line that cuts through the center of the model, this black line. That's very important that that stays true. But we won't know exactly exactly where things are at just yet until we start modeling. So what we're first going to do is make it so our perspective window isn't so crowded. Okay, to do so I'm just going to move this back in negative Z, this one back in negative X, and this one back in negative Y. And you can see something kind of physically wrong with this. So here I have the TIE Fighter, or whoa, <laughs> excuse me, X-Wing pointing in this direction. And this one I have this one pointing in this direction. Can you see something wrong with this? The positive Z is pointing this way. This positive Z needs to be flipped around. Okay. Well, that's very easy to do. All I do is have to take the scale of Z and put a negative number in there. And maybe it's X. Wait a minute. Hold on. There we go. So now that flipped it around perfectly. So now this positive Z points this way, this positive Z points this way. Good. And this one points this way. As I said, you, you don't know what you're getting into until you start modeling. So you're going to constantly be moving these around until you get them down pat. And then we're going to stick them on layers. But right now we are going to make that layer. So what we do is go over to the channel box hit this button to make a new layer shift click on all the image planes and right click on it and say add selected objects now if you have it right you can toggle this V off and everything should disappear alright 
So in the next video, we start fine tuning this to make sure that everything lines up and we'll use another little trick to triple check the alignment.